New information tonight about a Shelbyville mother, her 19-year-old son, and 15-year-old daughter who died in a plane crash in Virginia. That tragedy devastated the Borenstein family and united the Shelby County community in support of that family. We have full team coverage for you tonight, starting with RTV6's Derek Thomas. The Bornsteins have been members of the Brookville Community Church for eight years. Their church family is grieving over their loss. We all just lost it. Like, he, they were such a part of our hearts and lives. And it's like there's a piece of us and our community and our group that's completely missing, and it's not coming back. Molly Warren was best friends with Luke Borenstein, and there's an album of photo memories to document that bond. But she says the entire family loved life and embraced all who they came in contact with. And the common theme for them, as Luke talked about in this short video clip, was religion. Yeah, just really be who God has called you to be. Lead courageously. Lisa's husband, John, died in March of 2015, so this family has been beset with tragedy. Drew, who attends Virginia Military Institute, and Bo Emma's twin are the surviving siblings. The memorial service for the most recent losses will be held at Triton Central High School. The church family will be there for support. We're going to try and help them understand that death isn't the end for us. But for those of us who are Christians, we really understand that we will live with God forever in heaven. And so that's what we need to keep living for and keep sharing our faith. Uh, and those boys have a, a good grounding spiritually. And so we're going to be there to help them and encourage them. But I think they're going to understand the greater purpose in life, uh, and that is to help other people know who God is. There will be a separate private burial for the family. Family, but that date has not yet been set. In Shelby County, Derek Thomas, RTV6. Also killed in the crash, the Bornstein's foreign exchange student from Germany, Marin Timmerman, along with the plane's owner, Bob Ross of Louisville, and the pilot, William Hammerstadt of Carmel. Continuing our coverage now, three of the victims were members of the Triton Central High School community in Shelby County, and today the school announced plans to honor their friends and classmates. RTV6's Amanda Starantino is working that part of the story. School officials say they have an ample amount of people on campus today that are made available to the students. Between local grief counselors, school counselors, and even local church community members to assist the students mourning, grieving, and healing processes. The community has rallied together in support of one another and the Bornstein family in this time. Officials spoke with staff and teachers before students arrived this morning to discuss what happened and how to approach their students with something that is so difficult to take in and fully understand. Of all the lessons that they will teach today, certainly, and maybe in their careers. The lesson that they will teach today to our students and how you handle events like this is the most important. And, um, and, they, and they've taken that to heart. For many of these students in this tight-knit community, it's their friends who will not be sitting in class with them. And out of the surviving Bornstein family members, one son is actually Emma's twin, who is still a student here at the high school. There will be a celebration of life service held here at the school's gym tomorrow night at 6.30. The community is invited to attend, and the Bornstein's church pastor will be officiating that service. Reporting at Triton Central High School, Amanda Starantino, RTV6.